Hi, I'm Rohit Priyadarshi Sanatani. I'm an architect, urban designer, and academic based in New Delhi, India. And today I'll be talking about user specific predictive affective modeling for enclosure analysis and design assistance. Now, the emotional or affective qualities of space have long been referred to as intangible aspects that cannot easily be empirically analyzed or evaluated. The sensorial, experiential, and emotional aspects of enclosures are commonly conveyed through artistic media and representation techniques, but seldom through quantitative data-driven frameworks. More importantly, the affective domain is well known to possess a great degree of subjectivity. It is common knowledge that a single space can incite very different emotional responses in different occupants or user groups. Subjective experience has long been the center of phenomenological discourse and is often attributed to factors such as cultural background, personality traits, and the like. The positionality of the designer thus dominates when engaging with design decisions pertaining to feelings in spatial environments. Designers also rely heavily on their own intuitive processes when dealing with the realm of spatial affect. This subjectivity also comes in the way of the creation of standards for affective design and counters the development of models that aim to simulate the affective dimension of space. Many recent lines of inquiry have established frameworks for the systematic study of the correlations between specific attributes of form or virtual enclosures and the corresponding emotional response in occupants. However, such research directions remain focused on the commonalities of affective experience across all subjects that constitute a data set, rather than the subjective experiences of individual occupants or groups of occupants. The application of such empirical approaches for occupant-specific or user group-specific predictive affective modeling and design assistance is a very nascent domain. There is thus immense potential for the synthesis of a design assistance workflow for rapid user-specific data collection and predictive affective analysis of enclosures in early stage design. This paper outlines such a design assistance framework that will allow for designers to rapidly collect such user-specific affective data for the target occupants of a function-specific spatial enclosures and use that data sets as training data for the real-time predictive affective evaluation of the enclosure being designed. Machine learning models, of course, may be employed for this purpose. Now, this framework for customized emotional design comprises of two main components, the data collection workflow and the affective analysis workflow. The former integrates the collection of rapid user-specific affective training data sets into the early stage design process while the latter draws upon such collected data sets for real-time, custom, user-specific affective evaluation of a design. As already discussed, the affective responses to spatial enclosures are often highly subjective. Any affective analysis framework would thus have to rely upon training data pertaining to the affective nuances of the target user or user groups. The data collection workflow serves that specific purpose and enables the collection of user-specific affective data for predictive analysis. Now for demonstration, the data collection workflow involved a custom Python script within Rhino, which generated 100 spatial enclosures, all bedrooms, randomized along nine spatial parameters, namely length, width, ceiling height, sill height, lintel height, number of windows, window position, total window width, and finally wall hue. A bed, wardrobe, ceiling fan, and tube light were the only furniture or fixture items placed within each of these spaces, always in fixed relative location. All such items were rendered in white in order to retain primary focus on the spatial parameters of the enclosure. To demonstrate the data collection methodology, a custom render pipeline was scripted in Python to automatically generate 360 degree spherical renders for each of these randomized enclosures using V-Ray for Rhino. The renders were then adapted for immersive stereoscopic VR viewing using the full drive engine and a head-mounted display unit. 
the environment was also live streamed to a laptop for real time monitoring five subjects were exposed to each scene for approximately 20 to 30 sec seconds and were asked to rate these enclosures the ratings were in the form of affective appraisals on an emoji grid that appeared within the environment near the foot of the observer their response would be converted to valence and arousal values based on the circumflex model of affect on a 9 point likert scale between minus 4 and plus 4 so the aim of the data collection workflow is to integrate the rapid collection of user specific affective data in early stage design for machine learning models to learn the affective preferences of the user this serves as the foundation for real time design assistance as described in the next section the quality of immersive visualization as well as the ease and pace of collecting data become critical in this phase the table shown here describes the key parameters of the data sets obtained through this workflow the data set was obtained in the form of a csv file comprising of the values of the spatial parameters for each enclosure along with their corresponding affective ratings now this brings us to the affective analysis workflow which loads custom user specific data sets for predictive real time affective analysis of designed enclosures for demonstration the analysis framework was scripted as a custom python component within grasshopper 3d using the ghc python component the key components of the test enclosure such as walls windows floors ceilings etc had to be first defined in the grasshopper script the script would then compute the values for the nine key spatial parameters this would serve as test data for the machine learning models encoded within the custom python component to make prediction in the current version of the framework the python scripted the python script applied a k nearest neighbor regression algorithm on the training data sets using the scikit learn library in order in order to make predictions of valence and arousal ratings now for the five demonstrative subjects the model was able to predict the ratings with average root mean squared errors of 1.37 and 1.35 for valence and arousal respectively now these were all on 9 point scales between minus 4 and plus 4 now we come to design assistance for design assistance the predicted valence and arousal ratings as computed by the regression models would be converted into a point on the emoji grid and displayed within the rhino model space any changes to the formal attributes of the enclosure that's being designed would thus result in the point being updated on the grid this allowed for a real time predictive analysis of the affective impact of the design decisions or design alterations as discussed right at the outset this framework situates itself within a very nascent research direction and thus has much scope for further development and refinement a robust data collection methodology involving real time generation of randomized enclosures for immersive vr viewing and rapid appraisal needs to be synthesized architects have a very limited time of engagement with clients and an immersive yet quick framework becomes the key to smooth collection of affective data for the affective analysis component as well more appropriate machine learning models need to be deployed for greater accuracy of the prediction there has also been rapid development over the years in virtual reality and mixed reality collaborative design platforms and the adoption of such platforms for the collection and analysis of affective data can of course open up a wide range of possibilities moreover such predictive models can also plug into existing algorithmic and evolutionary floor plan generation frameworks as a tool for the optimization of affective parameters there is also scope for such a predictive framework to provide an affective dimension to the future of dynamic or parametrically alterable physical spaces where such enclosures may be able to change their form based on the desired mood of the occupant it is hoped that such directions towards engaging with user specific spatial affect opens up new dimensions to the role of the architect in the future